What's poppin' with my ninjas? Anime analyst here, and today I'm having a discussion with my boy Edo Oreo in uh, this bitch. Hell yeah, so we're having a discussion on a little subject that has been in my mind for a little while since we actually got the confirmed information that Naruto Storm 4 will not be coming out in 2015 but it will be coming out February 2016 after Christmas and everything so with that being said I wanted to know what we can we expect a full package game when Storm 4 drops come February 2016 like are we gonna get the full Happy Meal or are they gonna leave us with some fucking cold ass fries and no toy like what the fuck are we dealing with are we dealing with a 10 piece no barbecue sauce or we get all this shit like I'm just questioning because with this much time on their hand, it must mean that they have something big uh, under development in terms of adding on content to the game. Because even uh, in the terms of how far the anime is going to go uh, until February, will the anime be finished come February? Is that why they're holding it off? They don't want to release the game before the anime finishes so that they don't fucking spoil horrific that sh the fuck out that shit? Like... I just don't understand like what are your views on it or you like do you think they will actually be forced to give us everything since it's coming out this late i mean they did pretty much say that everything you know towards the end of the naruto series will be in the game so since there's a sort of like on to that and like, kind of like a spin-off then i feel like they should have to like instead of waiting for a whole nother game they should just give it to us now i mean they're already pushing it back so that's kind of like Hearing in to you know us getting everything i mean yeah because they can't even like do like the dlc bullshit like how they did full burst like nah Hell if nah. they try some full burst shit i'm fucking bitch slapping the fuck out of someone like fuck that shit they not gonna finesse us they already like at it and it was like we got like fucking rko'd by the fucking release date because that shit was out of nowhere literally because we just had a trailer before that trailer that was like you know what it's releasing uh fall 2015 and then out of nowhere 2016 come out in that skin i was like motherfuckers <laughs> like shit bro like i don't even know what to expect but definitely i can't see them releasing a type of full burst dlc with characters and a storyline because they waited until the kabuto boss battle happened in the anime for them to release i think it happened earlier before that but during that time period that the kabuto boss battle caught up with the anime they released full burst so i really don't think they will have this issue with storm 4 since they're going so late into the fucking uh time that the game was supposed to be released 2016 like you're gonna have everything mostly done with so you should have no plans for character dlc we should get everything off the bat like dead ass fuck the dlc we need these games to have all the full content off the bat because this is some bullshit like i could see if they release storm for it now and then just release a uh, story dlc packs as it caught up with the anime i'll be completely fine with that because i cannot fucking stand revolution like that shit literally like Unless I'm playing, like, I don't know. I just can't fuck with Rev right now. Like, what do you got to say? Rev is some, some real ass shit. Honestly, I'm expecting, like, no holds barred. I want this game to be full on everything of my expectations. I want all the characters. I was pretty disappointed with Revolution. Their roster was kind of shitty for me. I just felt like, you know, I was playing with some characters. I got some PTS characters. I mean, some of the support... I wish I could have played as, like, I kind of want to play as Korra and I, I know that would never happen, but, I mean, I feel like they should give us more playable characters, and we all pitched in, like, they give us a site, you know, to write down what we want and send it in to them, so, I mean, they should take in, you know, the people who actually play the game, advice, and some of the bugs we had, they never really fixed anything, like, there's no reason for, uh, just a lot of the stuff that happens in the game. As you were saying about the DLC, I still feel like they're going to do DLC just because that's how they are. They know, you know, they have a pretty good solid fan base, even with, uh... I mean, Revolution. costume DLC, I'm fine with that, but, like, I mean, at a certain extent, but, I mean, like, at the same time, can we get some shit in the base game? Because these motherfuckers have six months, my G, like, 
six months. That bitch better have every character in the fucking Naruto. That bitch better be like on some Taco Bell loaded griller with fucking <laughs> hot Cheetos on that bitch. Like, they better have everything in that hoe. Like, my game, I want that bitch to be breaking out the fucking case from all the content in that hoe. Like, that shit needs to be like a massive ass size. Like, my console gonna say, we cannot fit all this fucking memory on your console. Too many damn characters in this hoe. Like, we need to be on... That type of shit. And I know weak ass roster adding fucking uh Boruto, Sarada, and fucking Hanabi. Like get that bitch Hanabi out of here, bro. Like get, nobody fucking asked for her. Like you putting all these miscellaneous motherfuckers in fucking Iruka beating niggas with a piece of chalk and shit. Like <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah, but like when you look at it, um I'm saying not because I play mainly fighting games and I'm just saying not until you know kind of going into that you know fighting game style they sort of got this killer instinct vibe but that's still like i mean killer instinct as the way they have it set up with this round two type shit i know a lot of other games but i feel like they're basically just gonna drop like seasons on there and just start adding characters who knows we might get some new characters that they made they really you know, need to do that because dlc support just uh just keeps the game alive just keeps the game pumping because a month or two after the game releases you're supposed to have dlc just rolling out i mean they did a good job with revolution in terms of spacing out the dlc and keeping the game fresh but after that i mean like nigga we sitting here with fucking rev we've had that we we haven't had an, a naruto game for fucking ps3 in 2015 at all because of this shit like literally like rev is so fucking outdated you got to go on your ps3 to record that shit is fucking super dead times big bang 9000 nigga like shit but honestly this is the way i'm looking at it even if we don't get i know some people were saying that we might not get a demo if we don't get a demo then you can expect a lot of bullshit still happen in the game if we do get a demo you know hopefully they'll listen to us listen to our requests on what to do what to change but if we don't then you can expect some uh some rev shit happening i mean uh, yeah like i was in the uh nanko bandai like i was talking to them and they actually said that we're there's gonna there's gonna be a demo but there's no time frame of when they're having it they have something in the works they said we're not really telling that much right now but we have uh something in the works but at the same time i mean i can't like you if you're gonna pull some out of nowhere type shit you need to have compensation for motherfuckers who like basically make videos on this shit i mean because technically narutubers are gonna be in a fucking state of fucking wasteland for the next fucking couple of shits like niggas just gonna be making a bullshit just because we ain't got the fucking game so i mean even from some uh sources from uh some dude's interview with the dude they confirmed that wall running will only be in story mode and they will no longer be doing raw raw running and fucking multiplayer so them niggas not putting wall running in the multiplayer so what the fuck could possibly take six months like what are these niggas doing that wall running thing was kind of iffy because i was like this camera change like the angle the change is gonna happen right like how do you how, like, how are these motherfuckers gonna focus on wall running before you even got the game right itself like there's so much bullshit that needs to be dealt with besides wall running like if you have a perfect good standing fighting game then you can add wall running in but you got niggas fucking countering the whole game and fucking beating the shit out of people while they can't even move and then you want to throw fucking wall running in there like you ain't already got 99 problems like nigga come on my g like that shit just don't make sense that shit don't add up in my head like don't add shit to a fucking broken game before you actually fix the glass like shit but I'm just highly disappointed in Rev, and uh, I'm not. I can't say that I'm too hyped for Storm Four. Like I kind of want it. Like I just want to play it. But I, I'm not saying that I'm actually hyped for the game. I just feel like you know, CC2 always messes something up in the end. And every single game they had, they always mess something up in the end. Uh, Generations, what was this? The Infinite Tilt. I actually liked it, but people had problems and issues with that. Storm Three, they had the. Uh, um og glitch where you are in front of them and then you automatically got put in the ultimate and then rev they got this fucking counter so i'm just saying like what what's storm for like what's the issue with storm for what will it be this is gonna be hella broken characters and i'm i'm telling you if they don't i know some of these characters are just gonna be top tier overpowered and they need to do something about the health system 
because to me it feels like everybody has like the same amount of health no matter how strong they are so I'm like Kaguya like they should have like lower health like when you attack them they should do a lot more damage since they're gonna be that powerful I was watching Obito fight and I'm like this guy is just mad overpowered like there's no I mean the game from my point of view the game looks like I want to play the game so bad because it looks so fucking fair like that counter just looks beautiful how what it does to the flow of combat like you literally just get pushed back and you actually get the knockback uh support uh prompts again how you can like save yourself from getting knocked back like that shit's actually back that shit was actually dope in storm 3 so i'm definitely excited because the game just looks fair as fuck like i just want a playable fucking some type of build to play like shit damn but yeah people i mean that's really it we're just contemplating on what the fuck is taking these motherfuckers so long like that shit better be like some fire. If that shit's not some fire, like we gonna have to beat some ass on some real shit. But yeah, anything else, order? Uh, not much. Like I really just want to enjoy, you know, just enjoy the gameplay instead of having to worry about. Like I can't even play how I want to play. I can't even rush anybody without feeling like I'm about to get countered and then OT. Like I just want to enjoy the game, have some good matches. Yeah, I haven't yeah, had that shit in a while. Shit, yeah people uh like the video if you enjoyed it share the video all that good shit and we out this bitch